From liquid poison to the potential cure of the coronavirus, here are the all-time 10 most expensive liquids in the world. Chanel number no. 5. First on the list of the most expensive liquids in the world is Chanel number no. 5. People don't just like Chanel, they love it. This scent is over a century old, and it has millions of fans all over the world. Some of its biggest supporters were famous people like Marilyn Monroe, Celine Dion, and many more. Chanel No. 5 is reported to be classic, elegant, and even a little old-fashioned. And yes, it is ridiculously expensive. It's the most widely known fragrance in the world, first produced in 1922 by Coco Chanel and Ernest Beau, and today, the standard Chanel No. 5 costs somewhere around $20 $6,000 per gallon, making it extremely valuable liquid. But that's not actually where the story ends today. You see, Chanel has actually introduced a new number no. 5 fragrance with a single bottle costing about $30,000. That equates to $1,000 per ounce. The fragrance was also released in 55 bottles. According to Allure, it is a very large red bottle full of the brand's famous fragrance. It comes with 30.4 ounces, 900 milliliters, and it is being called number no. 5 Limited Edition Grand Extrait. The red hue of the handcrafted crystal bottle is meant as a tribute to Gabrielle Chanel's favorite color. The bottles are specially made using a unique technique of fusing clear crystal with 24 karat gold powder at a precise temperature. And even more, each bottle comes specially sealed to ensure that the purity of the liquid inside is perfect. And to top everything off, each bottle of this ridiculously expensive liquid is presented inside a white lambskin leather case. Chanel is calling it the ultimate gift for the true fragrance connoisseur. But if you ask me, it's just another ridiculously expensive thing for ridiculous people who can afford expensive things. Human blood. Human blood is worth a ridiculous amount of money. But why? According to an in-depth report from the Orlando Sentinel, blood is big business for a good reason. The main reason is that it's super expensive to procure blood. It's also hard to prepare safe blood. The main driver of the insane price of blood is the fact that it's always needing to be tested to ensure that it's safe for whatever it's going to be used for. This is an extremely complex business with hundreds of thousands of dollars flowing through human veins every day. There are also salaries and benefits to consider, the employees who actually take people's blood. A traditional blood bank might have 60% of the annual budget consumed by the labor force. It's all about making sure the right blood reaches the right person and is ready when it's needed, and this requires people power. Everything has a hidden cost. That means when the blood gets sold, all these costs go into the price of the blood. Another thing that inflates blood prices, which you probably won't be surprised to find out, is that high-level administrators are getting paid a ridiculous amount of money. The rest of the costs can be narrowed down to plastic bags, testing overheads, building maintenance, and utilities. Then there are the blood mobiles, the equipment that goes inside, and all the other little bits and pieces that make your blood like liquid gold. Human blood sells on average for $1,500 per gallon. GHB, gamma hydroxybutyric acid. It should be absolutely no surprise that some of the most expensive liquids in the world are drugs, but you are going to be shocked by which drugs they are. The cheapest, most expensive drug on the list is GHB. The proper name is gamma hydroxybutyric acid. It's used to treat some disorders such as depression, insomnia, and narcolepsy. There is a reason that this substance exists, and it's definitely not strictly for illegal use. GHB is also commonly used as an anesthetic in modern medicine. If you've ever wondered where GHB comes from, it's a natural occurring compound found inside the central nervous system of every human being. This stuff is actually inside of you, but it can be extracted and altered. And apparently, GHB is actually making a comeback. It has a pretty rocky history, starting in the 1960s as an anesthetic and then becoming a popular party drug in the 1980s. But because of its potent effects, it's either awesome to party with or it turns you into a zombie, and it leaves you vulnerable to predators. Now it's becoming popular with gym goers. People who are serious about the gym are claiming that GHB provides the type of euphoria you get with alcohol, but without any of the sloppy side effects. And bodybuilders are claiming that it increases the production of HGH and gives the users a better sleep. However, it's likely that any prolonged sleep from GHB could turn into a coma or worse. It's a super nasty drug that should pretty much never be used recreationally if you value your health. 
If you've heard of roofies, that's exactly what GHB is. This is a Schedule 1 substance as of 2001 and should be avoided at all costs. GHB is sold for around $2,500 per gallon. Printer ink. We are all painfully familiar with the price of printer ink. It's arguably the most expensive liquid you're ever going to have in your home. People often reflect on how it's actually more affordable to buy a new printer that comes with ink than to purchase toner replacement. Luckily, we've moved into the modern day of emails and ink is not quite as important as it used to be. But in any case, why is printer ink so stupidly expensive? According to Consumer Reports, one of the reasons is that a lot of engineering goes into printer ink. There is a ton of science and engineering behind it, and all of that is easy to miss by consumers. It might seem silly for you to plunk down $100 on a cheap chunk of plastic with some black ink in it, but it is expensive for a reason. Ink companies spend loads of time getting the right pigment and dye in the right vehicle to be able to stabilize each droplet into the perfect ink for printing. That research costs money, but probably the sneakiest reason is that you're actually still paying off your printer. The cost to build a printer is way higher than the retail price of the printer. That means that when you're buying the printer ink, you're basically still making payments on your printer. It's like if you bought a car for less money than it cost to build the car, but you are expected to continuously purchase tires at a ridiculous price to pay off the rest of the car. Isn't that wild to think about? Black printer ink costs on average $2,700 per gallon. What's your most frustrating printer experience? Have you ever had the dreaded low on magenta ink warning that annoys you when you're only ever trying to print documents in black and white? Let me know your most hilarious and aggravating story in the comments below, then remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications for more awesome videos right when they get published. Insulin Insulin is ridiculously expensive. You might even say it's outrageous. So why does insulin cost so much when it is such a needed liquid? First of all, there are only three companies that control 90% of the global insulin market. That means they basically hold a monopoly and can set whatever kinds of prices they want. There is also no generic insulin. There is no possible way to make insulin generic like you can with other drugs. And if you're wondering why more companies don't start making insulin, it's because most insulin is patented. That that means pharmaceutical companies are taking advantages of loopholes in the patent system to prevent other companies from manufacturing the liquid. And as anything that's owned by a monopoly, it's all about making money. This is why insulin is so crazy expensive. It's not expensive to make, it's expensive because it can be. Insulin is priced at around $9,400 per gallon. Mercury. Interestingly enough, mercury is definitely up there with the most expensive liquids in the world. It's not used as much as it used to be now that we understand how toxic mercury is, but it still remains as the only liquid metal that keeps its liquid form when it's at room temperature. This means it can be used to conduct electricity, and in its vapor form mercury is used in streetlights and in fluorescent bulbs. Back in 2010, mercury prices were actually rising faster than gold. It was priced at $1,850 per flask. Part of this is because mercury is needed in the extraction of gold, and the gold business is always booming. But as mercury prices inflate, it also makes the price of extracting gold much more costly. The one good thing about mercury being so ridiculously expensive is that it is forcing the recovery of mercury that has already been in circulation. Rather than producing more mercury, old mercury from contaminated sites and waste can now be recycled to reduce costs. Although this doesn't really apply to anyone in the everyday world, more to the specialized waste management companies. On average, mercury costs about $3,400 per gallon. LSD It's time to talk about the most expensive illegal drug in the entire world. While you might think something like cocaine is the most expensive, that's not actually true. However, the most expensive drug in the world is also probably the least used. It's also definitely the least addictive and potentially one of the most dangerous. I'm of course talking about LSD, commonly known on the streets as acid. The reason acid is so expensive is because of how it's made. It's not a powder or a plant, it's typically sold in micrograms. And a single microgram can cost anywhere from $1 to $20. That makes a single gram of LSD worth $3,000. Imagine paying $3,000 for a gram of anything. It just wouldn't happen. And if we want to keep going with numbers, we're talking about $123,000 per one gallon of LSD. 
LSD was widely used in the 1960s, but usage has steadily gone down ever since the hippie subculture became less popular. LSD is made from a crystalline compound and is sold on little sheets that look like stamps. If you want to know, a single gallon of LSD would be enough for 55,000 people to have a seriously hallucinogenic trip. There is definitely a reason people aren't getting hooked on acid, and it's not even the price. King Cobra Venom the bite from a king cobra has enough venom to kill an elephant. The king cobra is the most venomous snake on the face of our planet, and if you want to purchase some venom, it's going to cost you $153,000 per gallon. This is for a few reasons. One of them is that inside the venom of a king cobra is a unique protein called ohanin, which is used in painkillers that are 20 times more potent than morphine. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, another reason the venom is so expensive is because it's used in antivenom. And this is a complicated process. A single vial of antivenom can be sold for around $2,000 or more, but the process to get it is a nightmare. Sheep actually need to be injected with snake venom and then they need to have their antibodies harvested by doctors. But wait, this is not actually the full reason antivenom is so expensive. The cost of making antivenom with research, development, plasma harvesting, and animal care only actually make up 0.1% of the selling price. Another 27.7% comes from fees for licensing and regulations. Then there is another 2.1% for clinical trials. And the final 70.1% is because of a ridiculous markup from hospitals and insurance companies. Basically, the price of this, and many rare pharmacological drugs, is increased because the pharmaceutical companies have made it so. It's a scam, and they are ripping you off. This is why, depending on your insurer and what hospital you go to, antivenom can cost $6,000 in North Carolina. Carolina and $300 in Arizona. The reason Cobra Venom specifically is so expensive is because the antivenom isn't delivered in just one vial, it typically takes eight vials of antivenom, each of them costing around $2,300 to counteract the effects of the venom and save the patient's life. Scorpion Venom this is a big jump here. Scorpion venom is the most expensive liquid on the planet, costing roughly $39 million per gallon. Here I am specifically talking about the Deathstalker scorpion. It's the most dangerous scorpion on the planet, and it has the most lucrative liquid living inside its body. Obviously, you couldn't just go and buy a gallon of scorpion venom. That would be absolutely insane. You can only get it in a little tiny amount. According to Business Insider, $130 will get you a small droplet of Deathstalker venom, smaller than a grain of sugar. The reason it's so expensive is actually pretty simple. Scorpion venom is hard to get. You can only get it from milking a scorpion by hand, and at most they produce 2 milligrams of venom in a single session. That means if you owned a single Deathstalker scorpion, you would have to milk it 2.64 million times to get 1 gallon. And during all that milking, you will probably get stung and then die. But depending on how much scorpion venom you manage to milk, it might make you die rich, though it's certainly not worth it. Horseshoe Crab Blood even before the coronavirus shut down the planet, horseshoe crab blood was one of the most expensive liquids in the world, costing roughly $60,000 per gallon. The reason for this is that the blood from horseshoe crabs is used in extremely high quantities to test lots of different medical products to see that they are not contaminated. To make it simpler, horseshoe crab blood is blue and it has a unique response to bacterial toxins, making it the ideal testing liquid. This was figured out roughly 50 years ago. According to Smithsonian Magazine, roughly 50,000 crabs die during the annual harvest for their blood. Not only this, but horseshoe crabs are threatened by pollution and are being destroyed by overfishing and habitat loss. Now, horseshoe crab blood is being used in mass amounts as the world struggles to come up with a vaccine for the novel coronavirus. It's needed because so many vaccines are being tested all at once all over the world, and a certain component inside the crab blood is needed for use in drug purity testing. While the blood is not directly related to finding any kind of cure, it is needed to test potential vaccines. This could raise the price of horseshoe crab blood even more and bring these ancient animals to the brink of extinction. After this whole disaster is over, there might not be any horseshoe crabs left to drain the blood from. Which of these expensive liquids surprised you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and come back soon for another fun video.